What's up, spectators? Welcome back to an episode of Virtue's Last Reward. Last time, after we finished the puzzle room, we had to go to the Ambidex rooms and put in our votes. So we obviously allied with Luna, and we all got two points. Meanwhile, it didn't go so well for everyone else. And until the next round begins, we have some time to investigate. So we're gonna go down this list. Let's start with the lounge. Sigma. Perfect timing. You were here earlier, right? Yeah, I was. Phi, Luna, and I were the first into this room. Did you find anything suspicious? Like, uh, secret pathway or something. You really think that's the kind of detail I would have neglected to mention? Anything else, then? Anything out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Well, I mean, everything about this room is out of the ordinary. How about this? Isn't that obvious? It's an astronomy magazine. Apparently it's got an article about a lunar eclipse. It says it's gonna happen on December 31st, 2028. This New Year's Eve then? Yeah. Six days from now. Wait, what did you say? What do you mean six days? Well, today's Christmas, right? So... Wait a minute. When were you grabbed? Didn't you hear me? On Christmas. About two or three in the morning. Wait, did they pick you up on different day? Yeah. I was abducted in the middle of the night on December 22nd. What about you? I... I think it was the 20th. Then we were all taken on different days. Does that mean we were just sleeping until the notary game started? Maybe they kept us on a soporil IV drip or something? In theory, you could have everyone wake up at the same time if you got the dosage right. Then today might not even be the 25th. I think that's likely. Yeah. Some of us were probably abducted after you. Oh. Well, I guess that explains why I feel kind of dizzy. You too? I felt disoriented since I woke up. My body doesn't feel right. Maybe it's because we were asleep for so long. Your muscles start to atrophy if you don't use them. Then... What day is today? Beats me. I have no idea. Well, what about you guys? Was there anything interesting in the crew quarters or the infirmary? Nah, nothing in the quarters. Oh, well, there was a book about a cat. A cat? Yeah. Something about a cat in a box and whether it's dead or alive. Uh, Shortagers. Didn't make any sense to me, though. Well, it doesn't really sound like something that's going to help us get out of here. Yeah, I didn't think so either. How about the infirmary? Find anything interesting? Well, actually, there was one thing. What? I wasn't trying to hide it. The right moment to mention it just never came up. You don't need to apologize. Just tell us what you found. Well, see for yourself. It's a newspaper article, looks like. Yeah, it was in the safe in the infirmary. Let me see that. Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What the hell? What's Radical 6? Just read the article. I swallowed and began to read. The Radical s Tammy, you gotta move your butt. You gotta move your butt. The Radical 6 virus contains, uh, continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Do you think we're in a quarantine facility? You mean you think we got infected with this Radical 6 thing? Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Well, we don't know anything for sure, but look at us. We seem pretty healthy. Admittedly, I don't know what the symptoms of Radical 6 are, but if it's killing people worldwide, they must be horrific. 
Now, just look at this soft, lustrous skin. This perfect, shapely face. Does this beauty look like something infected with an awful disease? As I look at her super blocky fingers. <laughs> you want to touch it, don't you, boy? Oh, my. I can see it in your eyes. Go on. Try. Well, I am feeling a little weird down I there. I could just be from sleeping for a couple of days. Or maybe it's a side effect of that drug. Now, besides, if this is where they ship people to quarantine them, don't you think there aren't enough, uh, people? This thing is killing people all over the world, right? So why would there only be nine of us here? I guess you do have a point. Think about it. Zero is forcing us to play this nonary game. Why would the government quarantine people and then make them play a game? Also a good point. Yes, it is. So you're saying there's no connection between our abductions and this virus? Probably not. Well, it's still something we should remember, I suppose. I mean, even if we're safe in here, our friends and families are still out there. That's true. I hope they're all right. Wait a minute. When did this virus actually show up? I've never heard of it before. Neither have I. Me either. So what day is it? If this Radical Six killed hundreds of thousands of people while we were asleep, just how long have we been here for? I don't think you'll be able to just puzzle that out. If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Okay, I think I'll go look around a bit more then. I've already spent plenty of time here anyway. Uh, Alice and I are gonna stick around. You know, just in case you miss something. Don't really feel like I can trust your eyes. Whatever. I turned and headed for the exit. Where to next? How's it going? You guys find anything? Hello, Mr. Sigma. Nothing yet. Oh. Well, Alice, Clover, and I did go over this room quite thoroughly. I doubt you'll find any hidden hallways here. Why are you back here, then? Um, uh, well, I was concerned about the lady you found. Who would do such a horrible thing? Given what we know so far, you're the most likely candidate. Fine. Please, why would I kill this woman? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the evidence points to you right now. If we find more evidence in the future, that could change. We were so busy earlier that I never got to ask, but do any of you know who she is? Beats me. I've never seen her before. I don't know her either. Neither do I. Well... I suppose I might have known her before I lost my memories, but there's no way to know, is there? You still can't remember anything? No, not even a little, unfortunately. You better be telling the truth about this amnesia stuff. Are you suspicious of me too, Sigma? Suspicious? Have you looked in a mirror lately? You might as well have suspicious tattooed across your forehead. If someone ran into you on the street at night, they'd probably pass out from fright. Or maybe even during the day. Oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize for my frightening appearance. Well, it's not really something you need to apologize for. I mean, it's not your fault, right? No, I suppose not. Well, I assume not, but... But what? I'm not sure why, but... None of this feels particularly strange. The mask and the suit, I mean. In a way, it almost feels... natural. I don't feel as though I was forced into it. Are you saying this is how you always look? No, I don't think that's it. This might be a pretty obvious question, but... is there any way for you to take it off? No, I've tried several times, to no avail. I honestly don't even know where to start. Ah, but there is something I'd like to ask of you. There are parts of the suit I can't see. Could you have a look and tell me if perhaps there is a switch or something similar? 
With no further warning, he removed his robe and turned his back to us. It took no time at all to find something of interest. There's a hole here, on the back of your head. A uh, hole? Looks like you insert something. It says open, so maybe if you put some kind of key in there... You could open up the suit and take the mask off. I see. That's excellent news. We just need to find whatever it is that goes in there, then. Thank you. I feel somewhat relieved. I was beginning to fear I might have to spend the rest of my life like this. Wait! A minute ago, you said that it felt natural. Well, it does. But that doesn't mean I want to stay in it forever. Imagine having glasses, for instance. Wearing them doesn't feel strange, but you'd hardly want to wear them all the time, forever, would you? That's what wearing the suit is like. Well, I think that's enough about me. Should we move to the next room now? No. There still might be something here. I'm staying. Me too! I see. Well then, I will move ahead and see how our companions are doing. What do you intend to do? Hmm... I think I'll be moving along too. Where do you plan to go? I was thinking I might go over to the crew quarters. Very well. I shall head for the lounge then. Until we meet again. Excuse me. Kay's robe flowed silently around him as he turned to leave. I made my way out of the infirmary behind him. Hmm. So these are the crew quarters, huh? Sigma, what are you doing here? Hey, come on, man. Don't be like that, man. We aren't enemies, are we? Huh. I wonder. What happened to you, Tenmyoji? You've been acting weird ever since we found that lady's body. Oh, you think so? But you sure it ain't just all in your head? Fine. Let's move on to something else, then. You and Cork. Is he your grandkid? Why do you want to know? Why? Well, I mean, why do you think? He keeps calling you Grandpa. Of course I'm going to wonder what the deal is. We all got kidnapped and brought here, apparently for no reason. Now they're making us all play some sort of weird game. I'm just trying to find a little meaning in all this nonsense. That's it. So, tell me, Tembyoji. Are you really Quark's Grandpa? Clover! Luna! Sigma! Where'd you come from? Did you not want me here? No. It's okay, I guess. I just thought Tenmyoji was the only other person here. This is the crew quarters. I came here with Clover and Tenmyoji. We decided we'd split up to investigate. Huh. Makes sense. So, you find anything? Zero. What? Which one? No, I meant I found zero things. What about you? Anything suspicious? I didn't find anything either. Although, I guess you could say this whole facility is suspicious. Yeah, you got a point there. So, why do you think Zero put all these puzzles and stuff all over the place? Hmm. Well, maybe solving all of these puzzles is part of the Nonary game. Really? I thought the Nonary game was a couple rounds of the AB game. Why would he need the puzzles and stuff then? Well, what is the Nonary game then? Why is Zero making us do all this? Um, well, this is just, um, speculation, but maybe it's for entertainment. So rich, powerful people can watch. Entertainment? Yes. They're probably off in an opulent theater, watching us struggle while they drink brandy and eat caviar. Oh, you think so, huh? So some rich bastards killed her off for kicks. What kind of a death is that? Well, maybe her dying didn't have anything to do with the rest of the game. No. Kay was right. 
if her dying wasn't part of all this, the rabbit would have said something. But what did we get? Nothing. Just tells us to keep playing and disappears. I can only think of one reason he'd do that. Murdering her was always part of Zero's plans. Now, if you can think of another way all this fits, well, I'd love to hear it. So you're saying that Zero Senior is the one who murdered the old lady? Now, it sure looks that way. That means there's a seven in one chance anybody could be the murderer. <laughs> seven. Well, Alice and I can't be Zero. <laughs> Okay. I'll let the I part go, but... You're gonna have to give me a little to convince me Alice can't be Zero. What? Come on. Alice and I know each other. Well, um, how do you know each other? Uh, I guess you could say we're... co-workers. And where do you co-work? Um, organization? That's kind of vague. What kind of organization? Um, that's... I can't tell you. What do you mean you can't tell us? I mean, I can't tell you. Just forget about it, okay? Why can't you tell us? Because it's confidential. I promised I wouldn't tell. Oh, come on, don't give me that. Look around you, Clover. You really think this is the time for playing it close to the chest? Yeah. What if the people you work for have something to do with what's going on here? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should tell you. Finally. Hey, sorry to butt in, but it's time to go. What? Time to... Oh. Oh, shit. It's past time. We gotta go. Huh, you think? Oh. I guess we'll just have to continue this later. We need to get back to the doors. Shit. Guess you're right. Let's go. Sorry. An apology is not going to cut it. I can't go through that door without you. Zero said we'd get penalized if we didn't go through the primary door before it closed. Are you trying to kill me? No, of course not. I thought you didn't need a partner to get through the primary doors, though. Are you kidding me? Think it through, Sigma. Yes, you can go through the primary door by yourself. Now, you're standing in front of the secondary door. The time limit comes, and the primary door shuts. Now what? Now you're stuck is what? Without the right number of bracelets, the secondary door won't open. Do you understand? There'd be no way to open either door, huh? Man, that sounds even worse than getting your lungs turned off. Sorry for worrying you, Quark. In any event, now is hardly the time to be fighting like this. As you can see, the primary doors have already opened. We must hurry and decide who will be going through which door, and with whom. So, how should we pair up? We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. The options Phi laid out for us were the following. Option A. Alice and I, Cyan, would pair up with Luna, Yellow, and go through the green door. Tenmyoji and Quark, Magenta, would pair up with Clover, Cyan, and open up the blue door. Phi and Dio, Yellow, would pair up with K, Magenta, and open the red door. Option B. 
Alice and I, Cyan, would pair up with K, Magenta, and go through the blue door. Tenmyoji and Cork, Magenta, would pair up with Luna, Yellow, and open the red door. Phi and Dio, Yellow, would pair up with Clover, Cyan, and open the green door. Option C. Alice and I, and Clover, would pair up and go through the red door. Tenmyoji and Cork would pair up with K and open the green door. Phi and Dio would pair up with Luna and open the blue door. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. All right. So what are we doing? I'm not pairing up with K. Um, why not? We'd end up playing against each other in the next AB game. Last time, you betrayed Clover. How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? <laughs> you can't be trusted. How unfortunate. To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. Yeah? Why's that? That's just petty. Don't well, be a big meanie. You only have one BP left. I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next round. Even if you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. If I did, and you were true to your word and allied, then I would kill you. So there you are. That is why I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. Of course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. I trust her more than any of the rest of you. Yep. I want to go with Alice, too. Wait a minute. Don't I get a say in this? I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. They chose Ally last time. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm Phi's partner. You should pair up with us. Hmm. Sound good? No. I am also opposed to that choice. If Alice and Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up, the rest of us don't have a choice. We'll be stuck with Phi's option C. I believe I mentioned before that I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. And I don't want to go with K either. Then what the hell are we supposed to do? One minute remains until chromatic doors close. What's wrong, Cork? It's all over. This is it. We're all going to die. Are you all right? No. No. That's not it. Don't you get it? We are going to die. We have to die. We have to die here. All of us. What, what the hell? Oh, snap out of it, kid. Oh, come on, Cork. Talk to me. No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones. Getting so... Serious about the stupid game? We should just stop. End this. End all of it. End everything. <sighs> we need to get him to the infirmary. No, we don't have time. 30 seconds remain until chromatic doors close. We don't have a choice. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. But I still haven't figured out who's going where. I can't afford to be picky anymore. Someone just choose. I don't care who. Sigma, you have to choose. What? Why me? Please, just do it. We don't have any time left. Nine. Eight. Seven. I swallowed. Alice and I will... So we have Luna, K, and Clover. Alice wants to go with Clover, but Luna wants to go with Sigma. Uh, and then there's K. <laughs> hmm, I don't see a problem with sticking with Luna. She's a nice person, and I don't mind sticking with nice people. Of course, Alice might be upset about not going with Clover, so... Ah. Alice, Luna, the green door. I'm coming. Ah, no complaints from Alice, okay. They both took off for the door and I followed behind at a run. 
I glanced back over my shoulder in time to see the others head into their respective doors. Phi, Dio, and Kay ducked into the red door. Just as Tenmyoji carried Cork through the blue door, Clover right on his heels. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Whoa. Is this a dead end? All three doors seem to be locked. That's unfortunate. What's this thing here? It looks like the device next to the number nine door. Why don't you try pulling the lever? Might as well. Look at the door on the right. It opened. Huh. That doesn't make sense. Why would just the one on the right open? How do you open the other two? You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. That means we're going through it. Bring it on. But... Don't go soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. <laughs> Come on, Sigma. Let's go. What is this place? It is kind of confusing, isn't it? What is it for? Well, I think it looks like some sort of workroom. If you say so. We should split up and search it. We need to find, um, key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Yes. They should be somewhere in this room. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Well, it's been about 28 minutes, so not a whole lot of time left to actually do a full room. So I'm going to end this video here, and we'll finish up this room next time. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.